Shalom. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai Bahashim, Rakakodash. Double honors unto our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom, Wakasayim, Wabarakim. Peace, mercy, and blessings unto all of you, Sukwanya Wa'akim, to the Bayaf Shah Dawada, to the hopeful elect. The true name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, which means he exists or he is to be. The true name of the Son is Yahweh Shai, which means he is to deliver. Okay? We are the Hebrew Israelites. The Hebrew Israelites consist of 12 tribes. Today we're being called Black, Colored, Native American, Seminole Indian, Latin, Hispanic, Haitian, Jamaican, West Indian. Okay, we're the people that make up the lost 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. The Bible is written about us, the Israelites, the Hebrews, the Jews, the Northern Kingdom, the Southern Kingdom. Okay, now this is a clip I found on uh, World Star or nigga star as we like to call it there's usually a lot a lot of folly on here you know but the spirit allowed me to go on there and you know being on the watchtower and i found this video it says game changer new technology allows you to pay for your groceries with just the palm of your hands right and we're in the year 2023 you know the hopeful year that all the prophecies come to pass and uh you know this is uh pretty much conditioning people for the new form of uh, buying and selling, which will be through the rice device that they're going to put inside of your body. Okay, it's, it's, it's conditioned. Let's check it out. I just paid using only my palm at the grocery store without credit cards and cash. Let me show you how it works. You need to sign up an Amazon One kiosk. You insert your credit cards and the machine scans both of your palms. Then you enter your mobile number and agrees with terms of use. You're all set. I didn't believe that it would work that simple and decided to check it straight away. I just got something to drink and went to the cashier. And this is the moment. I just paid using my palm. Can you believe? What do you think about this technology? Yeah, so one more time. I just paid using only my palm. At the I just paid using my palm. <laughs> you see that? Paid using my palms so let's go to the scripture because you got a lot of you know idiots you know false prophets out there right so this is from the book of revelation chapter 13 and verse 16. we're going to go into some of these words it says <clears throat> now when you're dealing with this chapter dealing with the the beast okay in order to understand you know the the mark you gotta know what beast is coming from right So I always like to go to this image to break this down. It says the beast with seven heads and ten horns is NATO, which is the North Atlantic Treaty Organization. So let's look at the, at the seven horns, the seven heads. The Greeks, the British, Germania Minor, the Spanish, the French, the Romans, Germania Major. Seven heads equal seven governments or kingdoms ruled by Esau, the Edomites, all right? The damn devil, the ten horns, okay? Belgium. You know, I know you can't read it, but I remember it. Belgium, Denmark, France, Italy, Luxembourg, Netherlands, Greece, Spain, and Portugal, England, and Ireland, West Germany. Okay? North Atlantic Treaty Organization. It was established in August 4th, 1949, um, consisting of 19 nations. These nations make up NATO, which is the beast. Okay? So you're dealing with the mark of the beast, you have to understand what the beast is first and foremost right revelation 13 and 16 and he caused it all both small and great so let's look up some words man let's go into the word cause it strong g 4160 poeo poeo says to uh to make to produce bear make ready prepare to make a thing out of something Okay, to cause one to, okay, to carry out, to execute, okay, to uh, to perform, to 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 promise. Let's look up this word. Small word. There's micros. Strong's G thirty three ninety eight. 
Mekras. 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 Well, as you can see, of age, less by birth, younger, of size and stature. <laughs> so that means little babies, children. Okay. Both small, right? And great. Let's go in the words great. Strong's G3173. Megas. Megas. Statue and, and age, great. Old, of age, the elder. So that means young people, infants, babies. Babies just popped out the womb. Okay, he calls it all. Okay, I mean, he's getting ready to prepare and execute this. Okay, both small, of age, young, babies, infants, toddlers, great, elderly, old people. Okay, rich and poor, that's plain. Okay, people who have money to people who are on the side of the road with signs asking for money, right? Free and bond, whether you're out here, you can, you know, hop in your car and, and, you know, pretty much, you know, go where you want to go. And bond meaning, you know, people who are in prison to receive a karagma. There it goes. <laughs> there it goes. So he's getting ready to prepare and execute everyone to receive this. Okay. A stamp and imprinted mark of the mark stamped on the forehead and the right hand is the badge of the followers of the Antichrist. Then carved, sculpture, graven work, the mark branded upon horses. So they're getting ready to brand, all right? You people, you sheeple, you cattle with this rice device, okay? Going to the word there, the word is Karax. Strong G, 5482, Karax, Karax. Right, and this is the root word of karagma, which means to the idea of scratching. So shows you it's something that they want to do physically to you. Okay, he's going to cause people to do this. He's going to cause people to do this through the idea of convenience. You know, you don't need to carry a wallet anymore. You don't have to worry about losing your keys because it's all inside of you. Okay, it says in their right hand or in their forehead. So you don't have people just getting their head scanned. Right, a lot of people, <laughs> you know. The space between the eyes, and the foreheads. All right, it says an ops the face. Okay, so you don't have people getting this shit in their heads. You know, it really doesn't matter where you get it. If you get it, you're done. Seventeen, and that no man might buy or sell. Say if he had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. So without this, let's play it again. This is what's coming. I just paid using only my palm at the grocery store without credit cards and cash. Let me show you how it works. You need to set up an Amazon One kiosk. You insert your credit cards and the machine scans both of your palms. Then you enter your mobile number and agrees with terms of use. You're all set. I didn't believe that it would work that simple and decided to check it straight away. I just got something to drink and went to the cashier. And this is the moment. I just paid just using, pay using my, my palm. palm. Can you? Okay, just paid using my palm. Okay, because some people want to tell you that, you know, the market of beast and sin, it's embargo, or sleeping with a white woman. You cannot do, you know, you, you can't pay for nothing with, you know, um, sin, all right? Okay, you can't pay for nothing with sleeping with a white woman. How the hell is that gonna get you a business transaction inside of a store? Don't make any damn sense, okay? So something physical that they wanna put inside of you. And if you can't see it, you know, or you know, you're teaching people otherwise, it's A, you're, you're a false prophet, or B, you have by shooting outside blind at you, okay? We're up 13 to 17, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. So you won't be able to, without this, that's what's coming, and this is the future of, of shopping, buying, and selling, you won't be able to, to do nothing in these stores, man. Okay? And, and pretty soon, they're going to have armed guards, uh, security people with guns. You know, that's what's coming. Verse 18. Here's wisdom. Here's wisdom. 
Let him that have understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred three score and six. Let's go into the word stigma. So we go in the word stigma, which is Strong's G4742. Strong's G4742, stigma, stigma. A mark pricked in or branded upon the body to ancient oriental usage, meaning, you know, from the east. Slaves and soldiers bore the name or the stamp of their master or commander, branded or pricked, cut into their bodies to indicate what master or general they belonged to. And there were even some devotees who stamped themselves in this way to the token of their God. So by you taking this, they're going to make you look cool. Okay, they're going to they're introduce it to you to the idea of, of convenience. You know, they're going to have rappers rapping about it. Your favorite athlete is going to show it off. Okay, but this is nothing more than, um, this is nothing more than you bowing down to Esau and saying that he's your God. And by doing so, it's pretty much a slap in the most high space, and it's, it's something that's unforgivable, okay? Which is why the spirit has us on this so tough. This is the Revelation chapter 14 and 9, because you are not to take this. You are all right. We are to trust in Yahweh Bashem Yoshah. We are not to take this, because this is what's coming. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, and if any man worship the beast and his image and receive his karagma in his forehead or in his hand, you have to notice that it doesn't say right hand in the scripture. All right, because it doesn't really matter which hand you get it in. Okay, if you take it, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh by Shem Yoshai, <laughs> which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation, the cup of his righteous anchor. Okay, and that's going to be nuclear destruction. People who take this, man, you know, the Lord might have preserved you for the second death, which is the nuclear destruction, which is Babylon the Great, which is America going to be burning. It's going to look like a lake of fire. Okay, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstones in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. So simultaneously, while this is happening, this place is being nuked. All right, and these wicked demonic ass people being nuked, the Lord's going to be delivering his elect, and they're going to watch wicked ass people burn. Okay, and the smoke of their torment are sending up forever and ever. They have no rest day nor night who worship the beast in this image, and whosoever receive it, the mark of his name. Okay, real simple, but you have false prophets out there who want to complicate it. Okay, this is Habakkuk chapter 2 and verse 3. In the Bible Hub, which shows you the different translations, it says, this is the NIV, for the revelation awaits in appointed time, right? And this prophecy is in the book of Revelation written thousands of years ago. But now we see it, now we see how it's coming to pass in our time. And we're in those times, okay? It speaks of the end and will not prove false, though it linger, wait for it, it will certainly come, it will not delay. Okay, so with that, you know, just a quick lesson on that, you know, I'm going to close it there. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rekha Double honors unto our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom to the elect.